guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please subscribe today i'm going to be doing a grocery haul for you guys i actually found a new little farmer's market that i um was able to get some curbside from and i'm very excited about that if you don't follow me over on my instagram i typically share some toddler meals sometimes just quick easy mostly balanced thoughtless meals because i know feeding kids can be a hassle <laughs> Um, that's my baby. So, the other day I shared my strawberries, my pack of strawberries. It was the Driscoll brand. And one of my friends that I went to high school with, he was like, hey, um, just so you know, like, hey, look into Driscoll. You, you probably don't want to continue shopping for them. And I was like, okay, I'll look into it. Driscoll is a very popular fruit brand. You may have seen it at Target, Walmart, probably anywhere you get your uh, fruits and veggies. Typically, I get strawberries and uh, blueberries from the Driscoll brand just because it's convenient. They have a scandal going on or a boycott going on because they have some claims of unfair um, practices going on, including underpaying their uh, workers as well as some sexual harassment claims, um, even, even having minors working for them underage kids so you can look it up you can research yourself i mean it's all there uh, i wasn't aware um obviously it's like 2020 is a year where a lot of things and i don't even think that it's that oh 2020 is crazy all of these things are happening i don't even think it's that i really just think that we're such at a standstill in life where we have to slow down that we're actually really seeing all the things going on because what are we what are we on we are on our phones we're on our computers we're connected to the internet we're hearing all the news there's nothing else to pay attention to so i mean like i said it's hard to stay up on every societal issue going on in the world but i was happy that he brought that to my attention and that made me want to obviously shop a different brand i'm sure there's plenty of brands that i don't know of um that have some very negative baggage but if you know better you do better and since I know that Driscoll you know is not a brand a uh, company that I want to be supporting right now I'm gonna attempt in every way I can to not shop for them um, so all that to say I found a local farmers market in my area and they actually do curbside so I was able to place my order online and pick it up and i'm very very excited about that because one the pandemic we don't want to be outside that much like going to the grocery store with lennox i'm sorry he just wants to touch everything he wants to stand up in the car all of the things and i'm just like nah we can't have that so i avoid going to the grocery store unless it's a quick run but i pretty much avoid it so i was very happy that i was able to order all of these groceries online and pick them up it's called j and j farms it's in deerfield beach so it was about 15 minutes from me very reasonably priced oh wow they even added a cute little thank you note so i know that's another thing it's a small shop so you want to support small businesses as much as you can during this time so i think from here on out i will be buying my veggies fruits dairy all of the things from a local market because I don't know, it's just better. It's fresh. I, it, on this website, it says from farm to table, so it's literally fresh. So, anyways, all of this stuff cost me sixty nine dollars. The only thing that I ordered some blueberries, but they ran out, so they refunded me for the blueberries, and I went to Aldi, so I actually picked up a, a pack of blueberries from Aldi's, but it's not the Trisco brand, so I think we're good. But anyways, I just want to show you guys a grocery haul and kind of like maybe encourage you guys to also shop at your local farmer's market. And we want to support these small businesses. And this is probably way better, fresh, fresher produce. It's, re it's the same price or cheaper. And yeah, anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I ordered, I don't know what kind of apples these are. I ordered a mare, oh no. Because you know how there's so many different apples. So these are golden delicious apples. I got five of them. Five of these apples cost me 358. 
so, oh, another thing. I knew I wanted to go to the farmer's market because my friend, she got me a juicer for my birthday. So I want to make juice and I wanted to make sure that the products were really fresh. So I guess I'll show you. So the apples look really good, delicious, because they're called golden delicious. And yeah, so that was good. Then I got, what is this? Oh, mint. Oh my God, look at all this mint. So all this mint was $1.89. And if you know the mint packs at like Target or Publix are like $3. All of this mint, it smells amazing. Oh my God. They even have, like they have a rubber band. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So mint, I use mint for tea. I use mint for <laughs> mules. Um, we need mint in this house, okay? Of course, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with bananas. And look at how perfectly picked these bananas are. I like my bananas when I buy them to be like green. Not all green, but mostly green because I like them fresh. Like I don't, I eat them right when they're, I mean, I'll eat them like this to be honest, but make me a little bit more yellow. I do not like brown bananas for anything. Once they turn brown, they're just a smoothie banana. They are not edible to eat just like that. So these four bananas cost me, very hard, 118. Two corns, the corns cost me, it cost me 138. And they're fresh. Straight from the farm, baby. Gotta clean them real good. Make sure you clean your vegetables very, very good. Then I got some lemons. I got all of these lemons. I got five lemons, they were 49 cents each. Lemons, I also use that for my tea. I use it for my water. I use it for, oh, that's another thing. I use my mint for my water. Um, I use it for drinks. Actually, no, I don't use it for drinks. I use lime for drinks. And then, so then I got some strawberries. These are from the well-picked brand, um, Wash Before Use. The strawberries cost me $2.99, so that is a good deal. One thing I, I hate buying strawberries because I feel like strawberries, they get bad so quickly. Is it just me? If you have a tip, please leave it down below. Okay, so I also got mad sweet potato. I think I'm gonna eat sweet potato, chicken, and broccoli for like a week straight for dinner. See if I can lose some LVs. But all of these sweet potatoes were two 267 267 for one two three four five six well I got three pounds so three pounds 89 cents a pound 267 oh I got green beans oh I didn't know that I got green beans okay so I got green beans so I'm gonna do chicken green beans and sweet potatoes um but these are fresh literally fresh green beans and I got a pound a pound of green beans for $1.49. And then I got, oh, I got oranges. I have so many oranges back there. So then I got main greens. These were 59 cents each, I guess. And I got a discount for 18 cents. I don't know why, but we love main green oranges. And I can tell these are soft, so that means they're juicy. When you get a, when you get a um, orange that's like, not even sour, it's just blah, like bland, that's the worst. Apparently I ordered, oh this is turmeric. Okay, so I ordered a pound of turmeric for $2.99. So this is gonna go for my juicer. As you can see, they're just straight. Turmeric is a root and that's apparently good for you. And ooh, these are not picked by them, but I, have you never tried these uh, Alyssa's Healthy Vegan Bites? Oh my God, these are so good. I don't know what flavor this is. I think this is just a cranberry one. Oh, oatmeal with dried fruits. Oh my God, these are so freaking good. You can find these at Publix too, but these were $4.19. So they were a little bit of a splurge, but this is like when I have like a craving, a sweet craving, and I don't want to eat like a freaking McFlurry like I did on Monday, I can have one of these, you know? Ooh, some local honey. I'm very excited about this. This is the McCoy's 
Florida Wildflower Honey. I think I have a honey obsession because I just bought this honey and then I bought a honey at Aldi's. You're gonna see in a second. I don't know why this is gonna be so long, but it is. From Lakahachi, Florida, from the McCoy's Sunny South Apiaries. Um, if you have an infant, do not feed it to anyone under the age of one. Honey is not safe for under the age of one. But this honey was pretty expensive. I think it was the most expensive thing that I got and it was $7.49, but I love trying new honeys. <laughs> Um, again, I use this for tea. But you're gonna see another honey I bought. Just no. Just no. Okay, then I bought two things of celery because you know celery is a very important piece for juices. So these celeries cost me $2.98 together. So they were $1.49 a piece for celery. I love celery. You don't like celery? I don't know about you. And I, as you can see guys, I have a very small fridge. So I'm like, how am I gonna fit all of this? Then I got some cage-free omega-3 all natural brown eggs. And these eggs were actually inexpensive too. They were $2.99. So obviously you can get eggs for like 89 cents at Walmart, but these are fresh cage-free brown eggs. And you know brown eggs, are more expensive and then i bought some balsamic don't ask me why oh i know why i like balsamic on my pizza if you never had it on your pizza you should definitely try it it's a little sticky um this is the della rosa premium balsamic vinegar oh this this is not thing it's not what i'm thinking this is the vinegar i wanted the vinaigrette i think it's a little thicker regardless you can use this to make salad dressings you can use it to make a lot of things. Four nine four forty nine. So another one of the more expensive things. I bought this at Aldi's. I've been really into kombucha lately. Almost at the end of the fresh market haul. So then I got carrots. These are three large carrots, and the carrots cost eighty nine cents. So this is one pound of carrots for eighty nine cents, which is a very great deal. You know, carrots can be like two ninety nine at the store, and then I got. Another one of my favorite cucumber. Two cucumbers for $1.58. So they're 79 cents a piece. That's a big cucumber. I love cucumbers. Literally, I can just eat, oh, cucumber with salt, pepper, and a little bit of lemon. Amazing. And then lastly, I got a avocado, a half avocado. This was only 79 cents. That was everything that I got from the farmer's market. Again, if I'm sure you guys can find a local farmer's market in your area. And if you can, I would recommend shopping with them. I had a very great experience. I also got a few more things from the farmer's market over there. And then from Aldi's, I got some Beef jerky, flank steak, I'm back to eating meat again. Okay, so I got not one, not two, but three of the Stokey Cold Brew Coffee Low and Slow 10 Hour Brew. This is the not too sweet black one. I've never tried this one, I've only tried the regular green one, which is not sweet, I think. <sighs> These are my babies right here. Literally guys, I don't know what it is. I can't drink hot coffee. Like I feel nauseous when I drink hot coffee. It makes me sick now and I'm not pregnant. So don't ask me if I'm pregnant, but drinking hot coffee these days, I can't do it. And I was doing it every day for years. So this, I'm excited to try this, but yeah, I had to get three because I mean, now Anthony likes cold coffee too, cold brew too. So I'm like, he's drinking it all. And then I got some uh, dates. This is from Aldi's. Um, this is the Med Medrol dates. And basically I got these for smoothies. Um, I heard they were really good sweetener, um, natural sweetener for smoothies. So I got that. I'm sure there's a plenty of other things I could do with it. I will look on Pinterest to see. And then um, Aldi's is, doesn't have my creamer. I use the right here in the trash this is the creamer i love the almond silk creamer but 
vanilla. Vanilla is my absolute favorite. But I ran out of this and I wasn't gonna go to Target or Publix because Aldi's is quicker, smaller, in and out. So I just got two of these creamers. What I like about these creamers is they don't have the carcinogen that the other bad creamers have, which is the only reason I bought them, but they're not dairy free. They're made with real milk and cream. And sugars is only five. So that's good. It's only 35 calories. So I got the vanilla and I got the caramel. I saw my friend Vanessa try these. Oh, this one's almond milk. <laughs> Just kidding. So I have one almond milk, salted caramel, or caramel, and then one vanilla. So this one doesn't have carcinogen either, right? Nope. So both of them don't have carcinogen. If you can avoid carcinogen in your in your creamers, definitely recommend it. And then I got some marinara sauce because I'm gonna make spaghetti tonight. This bag though, this is from Publix. This bag is so freaking cute. Oh my God, I should have bought two. A lot of grocery stores don't want you to use your reusable bags, but what you can do is you can just leave your stuff in your car and once you get to the car, you can just throw them in the bag really quickly to avoid having all that plastic. And I got some Honey Nut Cheerios. We use this as a snack here, like a little midday snack for Lennox. If you haven't got these from Aldi, I also like them. They're the apple straws. They're a very little, again, another snack during the day. Okay, so this is another honey that I picked up from Aldi's. It is the Hot Honey Chili. Uh, my friend Tink told me about this, but it was like a specific brand. But I guess this is a dupe for it, and I found it at, um, at Aldi's, and she said that you put it in your pizza and it's so freaking good. So I think Lazy Moon, if you've been, if you've been to Lazy Moon in Orlando, or if there's Lazy Moon everywhere, I don't know. But I think this is a like, similar sauce at Hot hot honey that they have and so I'm very excited to try it because I've never tried it but yeah it's hot honey chili the rest of the stuff that I got from the farmers market so the almond breeze I ordered some of that then I ordered some 2% milk and it came in a carton that was interesting this is the hood brand never heard of it and then lastly I thought they were gonna fresh cut these but I was wrong um, this is the Applegate chicken breast and the Applegate American cheese. And what I've been doing this is for like a sandwich midday without the bread is I kind of do like a turkey and cheese roll up or chicken breast and cheese roll up. And I dip it in honey mustard and have a side with it like apples or cucumber. And that's been like an easy low carb lunch that I've been having. For blueberries, since the farmer's market ran out, I did pick up these Wish Farms blueberries. Um, for Lennox, he loves blueberries. I picked up some fresh ginger for the juicer. Um, apple, apple sauces, oh, I got this for an emergency because Lennox wanted a snack, so I bought this, but I, I let him eat one in the store. I'm one of those moms, and he didn't even finish it. Cute bag from Publix, it says, Me Encanta Publix. But I just like the colors, it's super cute. Tell me I broke it, because this is glass. I just fucking broke it. Oh. So I'm gonna return this. Dang. Well, this was an electric warmer that I bought for my wax that I have here. And now I need to go ahead and return it because I did not mean to break it. But anyways, you can put a candle on there or you can Put like wax cubes on there and this was only nine dollars at Audi, so i thought it was pretty cool unfortunately i broke it so hopefully they will allow me to return it i feel so bad but yeah so anyways that is it for my aldi slash farmers market haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next video